Hello. Thank you guys so much for connecting on time. Uh, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Waiting for you. Hey, excellent. Waiting for your class, right? Yes. Great. Hello, Professor Edwin. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you, David? I'm great, too. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Xiomara. Okay. I'm glad to see that we have many people connected and we are ready to begin. Okay. Before we begin, do you have any questions or any difficulties um, in the platform? No, everything was okay? No. You didn't have any problems with the platform? No. I didn't no. connect yet. Ah, okay, okay. No, I mean, yesterday or trying to do the exercises, everything is okay? No problem. Okay. okay. So we're going to be taking a look at one more time, asking for information, getting information. And we're going to watch a small video just to remind ourselves what we learned yesterday, okay? Let's take a look a little bit of the video the last video that we saw yesterday, which is 1.6, I need some information. Hi, are you ready to listen to the conversation? This time we will listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Okay. So this helps us a little bit about yesterday. Remember that yesterday we were discussing and we finished with the idea to create questions to ask about El Salvador, right? Like if we are tourists coming from another country and we want to come to El Salvador, we're going to ask many different things. Um, Nelly, did you prepare your questions? Yes. Great. Uh, Ivan is ready to answer them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in El Salvador, there are veggies restaurants. Okay, thank you, Nelly. But that is not structured correctly grammatically. Your question, I understand, but is not the correct grammar. Rebecca, can you help Nelly create the correct grammar? Do you uh, need like a sentence. I you made it like a sentence. Nelly, repeat it one more time and we're going to help you make it into a question. In the same way that I make the question or? Just the same, the same. We're going to help you. Don't worry. Okay. In there El are veggies restaurants in El Salvador. Okay. Rebecca, how can we make that into a question? Hmm. Ah, Rebecca disappeared wow. now. Uh -huh. No, no. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Go ahead, Rebecca. Um, I think I I find a mistake. Oh, really? Tell me, Nelly, what is the mistake? Are there? <laughs> Go okay, ahead, Nelly. Are there veggies restaurants? In El Salvador? Nelly, that's amazing. Did you find the mistake? 
or did your husband tell you? No. Me. <laughs> Nelly. Nelly. Really? Really? Okay. Excellent, Nelly. Great job. What? Yes. That is the idea with our partners. We are going to check our partner's work, just like we did with Nelly. As an example, my partner is going to give me the five questions, and we're going to see if the answers, the first, if the question is correct. How do you know if the question is correct? Super easy. The question can begin with two different words. Can begin with a WH word. Example, what, where, when, how, how many, who. And can begin with an auxiliary. Is, are, do, does, was, were, had, have. Different. But the question cannot begin with a thing. It has to be auxiliary or WH. Flor, is that okay? Teacher. Yes, yes, Rebe. If if I say in a sentence, what currency is used in El Salvador? That is correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you copy from the conversation, but it's correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Flor, give me one example, please. Is the cloth made from cotton or by cotton? One more, uh, Flor, one more time. It's uh, difficult mm -hmm. to listen. Um, from is your the cloth is the cloth made from cloth no from cotton? Okay, David, is that correct? I think is is the cotton I'm sorry, am I the only one that doesn't listen to David or do you do you guys listen to David or no? No. Lord, no. Hello? Okay, hello? Yeah. Okay, try um, one more time, David. Yes, I Ivan, do you listen to David? Uh, yes, teacher. Hello? But, but oh, yes, yes. Okay. I can hear you. you can hear. Okay, try one more time, David. Um, you need the answer or you need what? The question. So what was the... Ah, uh, my question. question. Uh -huh. Yes. My question. No, Flor's question. Uh, it is the gloves made with cotton. Okay, is that correct? I think. Okay, okay. Ivan, what do you think? Do you want to answer or question or no, no. about the flow? That, which is correct? The way that Flor said it or the way that David said it? The Flor said it. Yes, the way that Flor said it was correct. Why, David? Because you did the same thing as Nelly. You changed it, not begin with it. Remember, always begin auxiliary. Is it? Is the clothes made by or is always with the auxiliary? Okay? That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to have five minutes. If, if we know that it's a mistake, we tell the partners. If we are not sure, no problem, only we answer the question. Okay. Carla, can you ask me your question? Or one of your questions? Rebecca, you had a question? Uh, yes, I, I really like uh, saying, one sentence. Mm -hmm. um, what what museums do they have in San Salvador? Carla is going to answer it. Go ahead, Carla. Yes. 
for me? Try. Mm, very, very, very little. No? Mm, more or less. Uh, may you repeat the answer, please? The, the question, please? Repeat the sentence. Yes. Okay. Um, what machines do they have in San Salvador? Uh, what? What in the next war? I can't understand. Okay, Carla, is it raining by you? Yes. Okay, I imagine because when the people have problems and they're trying to listen and try and, and it's hard to hear them, it's usually that. Don't worry, we're going to try to help each other, try to speak loudly and clearly. I know sometimes it's difficult. The question, Carla, was what museums do they have in San Salvador? Is that okay, Carla? Did you understand? Yes. Okay, what's the answer, Carla? Um, in the museum, uh, there are some pictures about a uh, uh, landscape. Landscapes, yes. Okay, so, so, Carla, good idea. You understand museum, but you didn't understand the question. The question is not what is in the museum. The question is, what museums are in San Salvador? As an example, there, uh, there are art museums, Marte. There is a history museum like uh, Guzman. There are children museums. That, this is the kind of question. But don't worry, that's why we practice. In this moment, we're going to practice with our partner, asking a few questions and answering. Only a few moments. We're going to have five minutes to ask and answer our partners the different questions that we prepared. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah. Lord, are you okay? Repeat the question, please. Is the euro or euro euro uh -huh. the currency of the Salvador? No. Oh. Um. Okay. It is not. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Give me your question. Okay. Where is the best? Where is the best hotel to vacation with 
uh, my family in San Salvador? Well, we have a different type of hotel. The more uh, money for the for we for we country. Yes, for yes. Our country. Yes, but uh, I I think uh, the the best uh, the best way uh, is uh, about our people, our young people is preparing to to playing in different topics, different sporting. Yeah, uh, we are they are showing us. Uh, one we have a we have a beaches and some places, tourist places to visit and different departments of El Salvador. And we can eat in that places too. And what else? <laughs> um, do you know where is the coffee made? Could you repeat that, please? Do you know where in El Salvador is the coffee made? Ah, okay. Made. ¿Qué es made? Made, the, the part of made. Ah? The pass of the bird make. Uh, no, I don't. I, I think, think that, sorry, it's made in There are many places where uh, in El Salvador prepare or ground the coffee. I think it's in a paneca, um, mm -hmm. especially in a paneca. Yes. Eh, Ataco, mm -hmm. Santa Ana. Many there places, are right? many places where eh. we can find. Okay. Any questions? Is everything okay? Were you able to answer? Well, I don't know if I make uh, correctly my my questions. I Go don't ahead, know David. if Rebecca Ask can me understand me very well. Ask me the questions. I, I will help you. Go ahead. Uh, for example, what place is the most popular popular in the country. Correct. Continue. Let me listen to the questions. Okay. What it, what is your language here? Okay. In El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. What is the popular food in El Salvador? Okay. What is the currency of El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Is the euro the currency of El Salvador? No problem. All of them are very nice. Okay, great. Okay, okay. okay. Anybody else have any questions or not clear if they're if they made it correctly? No, teacher. Okay. Siomara, let me listen to your questions. Yeah. Uh, where is the coffee in El Salvador made? Okay. And uh, where are the most beautiful beach in the in El Salvador? Pretty good. Only pronunciation. Beaches. Beaches. Mm -hmm. in plural. In, because you use R. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And where where is the best place to eat pupusas in El Salvador? Uh huh. Only that. Only that. Karen, uh, Siomara, did you connect yesterday? Yes. How many questions did you have to prepare? Five. How many did you prepare? 
<laughs> and the another could be. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Thank you, Yomara. Thank you so much. Excellent. All right. Just checking. And I think Daniel wanted to participate also, right, Daniel? Yeah, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. Okay. Uh, I prepare only two Hi, things my son. And the first one is uh, can you help me, teacher? Because I prepare the cacao seeds is used is still like a currently in El Salvador. Okay, repeat the question, Daniel. Okay, the cacao, the cacao seeds, it's used, it's not. No, Nelly, please help him. Why is not correct? Okay, thank you. But, but I have another two. Okay. All Let right. Let me try with the other. Okay. Try with the other. Try what? with the other. If not, Nelly is ready. If not, Nelly is <laughs> okay, ready. Okay. Relax, Thank relax. you, Nelly. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is the traditional food in El Salvador? Correct. In, in the other, what, what uh, can you help me? What are the season climates in El Salvador? Repeat. What are the? The seasons, climate in El Salvador is it's, no, no, it's correct. Only the pronunciation. What are the season climates? Cli. What are the Climate. season climates in El Salvador? Okay. But Daniel, please repeat your first question because Nelly would like to correct it. And it's not correct. I asked Nelly okay. because Nelly had the same mistake in the first question. That's oh, right. okay, okay. So let's Nelly, see if can you pay me? attention. Okay, okay Daniel, okay. repeat Nelly, the first Nelly. question. Can you help me with my question? Is the cacao seed is used still like a currently in El Salvador? Okay, I will try. Is the cacao seed uh, is, is still the currency? Currency. I think. Okay, Nelly, very nice. Yes, Nelly, you understood exactly. Is the cacao seed and then the information still used uh, currently, all of the other, the compliments. Very nice, excellent job. Okay, perfect. So now, exactly, Nelly's amazing. All right, so Thank the you, Nelly. great Thank job. You. Okay, good, good. Okay, now let's watch the next part of our video. Now we understand how to use a bit more the passive. Now we're going to try the passive without buy. The same idea, but no buy. Here are a few examples. Hi, we're back again. Now we'll study passive voice in simple present without buy. Please pay attention to the explanation, examples, and exercises. Passive without buy, simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be plus past participle. Active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. Passive. The euro is used in most of the EU. Active. They speak English in many European countries. Passive. English is spoken in many European countries. Active. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Passive. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. As we saw with the simple past passive, we change the emphasis when we use the simple present passive. Instead of saying, they use the euro in most of the European Union, we can say the euro is used in most of the European Union. The focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Okay, so as we can see in that example, the first one is active. And to change it, only we change the focus, not on the people, but on the object. In this case, the object is the euro. And that's how we make the passive. Change focus from the person, in this case, they, 
to the object, in this case, the euro. The same yesterday, but now no buy because it's general, it's not necessary one person. They to the euro, which is what we're interested in. Follow me here. I have these passive sentences to demonstrate how the buy phrase is omitted here. The euro is used in most of the European Union by the people. Cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers. What I want you to notice is that the doer of the action in each of these sentences is obvious or not important, so the by phrase can be easily omitted. So this takes us to our structure, and because we're using simple present passive, this is what we have to work with is R present of B plus past participle. Can you now take a look at the following images and come up with one sentence using passive in simple present? Please write your sentence on our discussion box and ask your teacher to check it out for you. Okay, so the same as the normal, but now no buy. Why? Because it's in general for all the people. So we don't need to use by. Okay. Is that okay? Let me give you an example to make sure it's a little bit better. Remember the question about the coffee? Where is coffee made in El Salvador? Okay, so not focus on the people, focus on the coffee, the object. Coffee is made in uh, Aguachapan, in a taco, so on, so on, whatever you want. A, a coffee is made in and then the place. Not necessary by, why? Because it's not the people, it's the area or it's not important. So we don't have to say it. Is that better? Yes? I a bit. <laughs> Sorry. I try, I try to make the exercise in the platform, but I couldn't because I didn't understand. No problem. It's okay, but Flor. <laughs> but Flor, do you understand me today? Do you understand me now? I understand that I have to be focused on the object, right? Correct. Object. Okay. Let maybe now I can do the exercise. Okay. Flor, Flor uh, do you know Toyota? Yes. Okay. Where is Toyota made? I think Toyota is made in China. Exactly. That's it. That is the passive. The object, Toyota, Toyota cars, mm -hmm. is made in China. Or in this case, technically is are because it's plural. Toyota cars are made in China. But okay. you, don't, you don't need to say by Chinese people. It's understand. It's made in China. You understand is by Chinese people. Okay. Okay. That's the important part. All right. So now that we have a better understanding, we're gonna try a few exercises. Here, I'm gonna share with my screen with you so you understand what we're going to do. Here we have the knowledge check from 1.10 and 1.9 and 1.10. In 1.9 is answering the questions with the correct form of the verb. So we're gonna use this verb with the pass, we're gonna use, remember to put the pass. What do we need? We need to put the verb to be and the past participle, not only the correct word, not only many crops grow in Taiwan, no. You need to put the verb to be and the verb in the past participle to use correctly. Here we have 10, then we're going to check. Also, we're going to do a little bit of reading, but we're going to do the reading together and then answer the questions. In this moment, we have these 10 sentences that we want to complete. With your partner, you will have six minutes to complete the exercises. 
six minutes because it's only complete, it's not make the entire sentence. That's why. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Hang on. Let's try one more time. Okay, I see we had a little bit of problem. Okay, let's try it one more time. <laughs> let's see if we can get this issue of fixed. Course, teacher, go ahead. Okay, let's see <laughs> one more time. Donde está. The first. Okay. The first sounds. The first is the keys. Perdón. That is his. Perdón. Uh, I. The first exercise. But how how can I read the questions? Okay, I have a few questions. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. How many crops grow in Taiwan? I think that we must to roll, to roll, to read, write. Um, what do you think about? I think um, R R I'm oh, sorry R grow. Where is the passive grow? Do you know? <laughs> Carla. Teacher, I, I think the many I think Carla has Carla, are you there? Yes, teacher. Oh. I'm here. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, I think the number one is many crops are growth in Taiwan. Is correct, yes. teacher? 
painted. Okay, it's, and the second one, some the second crops. Is consumed. consumed. But the first one is the verb to be. So I some crops are consumed. They um, are consumed. Are cons I, I don't know, maybe consume is a regular verb, it's a regular verb. Yes, um, it's a regular verb. Consumed, it's okay, local. Mm -hmm. local. In the four rice are cultivated. No. Is 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 cultivated. Cultivated. Creo que no sé cómo se pronuncia. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Cultivated. What word? Cultivated. Cult Are cultivated in the warmer parts. No. Uh -huh. Is are or is? Are is is uh -huh. in five. A wide variety of seed of food is called is called is called C A U G H T Okay, I see that for some it was easy and for some it's a little difficult, but we're going to try together to make sure that we understand. Okay, okay. so let's take a look here. Many crops, what do we use the verb to be with crops? Is, are, or am? Are. Uh, in the past part brown plus M. Brown. Brown. Okay. Brown. That's it. Okay. The same. Some crops. What is the group to be? R. 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 Consumed. Well, same. Good. Pronunciation consumed. Consumed. Con Good. Consumed. Good. Number three, other crops. Our forest. Remember, export with Sporting. E. Correct. But, Exported. Yes, but this is wrong. I have, I wrote uh, the same word exported, but that mark is wrong. Okay, we're going to check what happened and see in just a moment. What about rice? It's cultivated. Right, it's, it's in plural. It's, it might, it, this part it's is cultivated. Are cultivated. So we use is cultivated. Why not are cultivated? Why not are? Why rice is? Because it's, it's, it's a singular. It's singular. It's non-countable. Good. Number five, a wide variety of seafood. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I, I think, in my opinion, uh, the rice is a plural because uh, without talking about in the crops, we talk about in the in the field. Mm -hmm. I think in this case is our cultivate. Okay, 
So, we're, okay, great, Ivan. We're going to have rice is cultivated. And here I put next to it R in the case of Ivan. And we're going to check. Thank you. We're going to see in just a moment. Okay. What about number five? I wrote a um, wide variety of seafood is caught. Okay, whoops. There we go. Sorry. It's caught. Mm -hmm. That is wrong. It's wrong at the final. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to see what happened. We're going to see if it's the spelling or what. Good. What about number six? Teacher, what is mean wide? A wide is a long or a large variety. This is wide. Mm -hmm. Could be in Spanish, okay. uh, a, una amplia variedad de... Yes, it's correct. Mm -hmm. What about number six? Are employed. 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 Okay, are employed. Many people are employed in the electronic and textile industries. There. There are employed. Good. French and English are spoken. Are spoken in Canada, the US. Is made up. Is made up. Okay, great. It's made up. It's made up. A lot of sheep. Are a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of sheep are raised in New Zealand. Okay, nice. good. A regular verb. And the last one, cars and computers. Are manufactured. Yeah, I'm are sure. I think they wanted to do this, but don't worry, let me check. So we have the ideas. Let's find out why some of them were correct and not correct. Number one, are grown, are grown is correct. Are consumed. Correct. Number three, are exported. The same. Here, I wrote is cultivated. And Ivan said are cultivated. And we and have. Why, why is this kind of, of the answer, teacher? Uh, of course, because rice does not have a plural. When the word does not have a plural, there is no R. For example, crops has singular and plural. Crop, crops. Corn, corns. But for rice, no rice, rices. That is why we use only is. Okay. Then okay, thank you. You're welcome. Number five, look, is caught, is correct. The same that I wrote. Number six, are employed. Correct. Seven, are spoken. The same. Eight, is made up. The same. Nine, are raised. The same. And the last, oops, I almost forgot. I forgot the verb to be. Are manufactured. Yes. Only the spelling from here is not correct with capture, but fractured. Daniel? Thank you, teacher. In the number nine, what is the meaning of the context in, in these sentences? Because they, a lot of sheep are raised in New Zealand. What is the context? I can, I can, I get, I can get the idea. Okay. So like mangoes, Mangos are grown in El Salvador, but for things that are alive, horses, dogs, cows, sheep is not grown. 
they don't grow sheep in New Zealand. They raise sheep. This is the context. The same grow, but for things that are alive, is are raised. Sorry, Daniel. Thank you, teacher. I I I told that. Thank you. Okay. Great. Um, please check and make sure because some people said I know. I put number five is called not correct. I put this one is not correct, but look, it's correct. So check in your in your computer and make sure that you have the right answer. Okay. Any questions from anyone? No. Did no you question. Now it's okay. No question, teacher. It's all clear. It's clear now? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look now for our reading. Here we have three paragraphs. I'm going to make it bigger so that it's easier for us to read. Okay. There. Is this better? Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Good. So we have yes. now here the Kimchi Museum, the Museum of Gold, and the Chocolate Museum. So who would like to read the Kimchi Museum? Me, teacher. Okay, Xiomara, the Kimchi. Nelly, I saw you raise your hand. Nelly, the Museum of Gold. And who's going to read the Chocolate Museum? Me, teacher. Okay. Who was me? Flor. Flor. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So we have the three volunteers. Yeah, the only girl. And the only girl. Okay. Yeah, but the, the girls is first. First the girl. First the girls. Okay, Daniel. First the girls. Well, Daniel, After can me. you read? Can you please read the introduction, Daniel? Here and number sure. one. A guide to. Okay, is that said a guide to initial museums? Look at the picture and scan the article. Where do you think you can see very old objects? A working factory? History cooking tools? That's Continue. it. Continue, yes. Okay, Continue. do you like muse museum? How you been to Lowry in Paris, the Museum on Anthropology in Mexico City, or any of those other must see museum? Well, now it's time to go off the beneath path. Thank you. Okay. This is it's time to go off the traditional path or the traditional museums. This is the idea. Here we have the three museums, okay? Number one. Uh, the Kimchi Museum, Seoul, Korea. If you, don't, if you don't know about Kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is an eye-opening experience. The museum was founded in, in 1986 to the highlight Korea's rich kimchi culture. The ex exhibit includes displays of cooking utensils and materials related to making, storing and eating the famous pickled vegetables. Uh, the museum also provides details about the history and nutritional benefits in Korea's most beloved side dish. Finally, a stop by the souvenir shop to try various types of kimchi. Thank you. I think Ivan has a question. Ivan? Okay, yeah. Number three? No, did you have a question, Ivan? No, I want I want to read. Ah, thank you very much, Ivan. We already have the volunteers for the reading. But don't worry, in the next one, we'll give you a chance, okay? The next? The Museum of Gold. Okay. 
the Museum of Gold, Bogotá, Colombia. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. It holds one of South America's most stunning collections because the exhibits spark so brightly. You can actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera. Not everything is made of gold. So among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and Cooper, no has Lumbaga. Tumbaga, mm -hmm. Tumbaga. Tumbaga, yes, oh. that's the name. The name in yeah. Spanish, right? Tumbaga. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bar. All right. And the last paragraph? The Chocolate Museum, Cologne, Germany. The Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate. From cocoa beans to candy bars, you'll learn about chocolate 3,000 year history and discover how it was one use of money in South America. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you finish the tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of rich, buoy, pure chocolate. Perfect for those with a sweet tooth. Great. Before we continue, are there any words in any of them that you didn't understand? Uh, teacher, I didn't understand what is the meaning of in the last part that I read. That's a gooey, pure chocolate. Ah, so gooey, gooey is that form, is the physical form. It is when you have something that is liquid, but you stretch, like the cheese in the pizza. The cheese is liquid, but is solid. This is the idea of gooey. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Es como chicloso, entonces, teacher. Yes, Daniel, similar. In the first paragraph, uh, we find piglet vegetables. Correct. That's piglet. Piglet is like in El Salvador with the pupusas. When you eat the pupusas, you eat the pupusas with sauce. But we use pickled cabbage. Cabbage in vinegar. This is pickled. It's okay? Okay. Is la forma el corte? No. Or... It's the ingredient. The vinegar. Ah, okay. So when like you put... Curtido. The... When curtido. Oh. Yes, because you can have anything in pickle. You can have cabbage, carrots, radishes, but is the preparation is in the vinegar. In El Salvador, also <laughs> we use the lemon, right? Similar, but in English, the pickled is only for vinegar. Okay, That's why, thank you. Nelly, when you get a hamburger, and you have lettuce, tomato, and pickle because it's for pickled. This is the original weight. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words or vocabulary? It's parsley. In which paragraph? In number two, sparkle. Here. In, sorry, in paragraph. Yes. 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 Okay. So sparkle is like um, the diamonds that have the light. This is sparkle. Like the shining? 
like shiny exactly mm -hmm. swarovski the swarovski is sparkle mm -hmm. any other words No, it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay, let, let's try it then. Number one, what was the meaning when you go off the beaten path? Do something unusual. Good. Do something unusual. 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 Good. When something is founded, it is. Discovered. Discovered. Yes. Number one. Started. One. Started because it's founded. Okay. Started. Three. When something is stunning, it is extremely attractive. 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 Number one. Okay. Number one. Number four. When something is ancient. It is very old. very old. Very old. Very old. Okay. When something is complementary, it is free of, free, of free of charge. Okay, free of charge. Good. And the last one. When something is gooey, it is thick and sticky. Thick, thick and, and sticky. Thick. Good. All right. Very nice answers, as you can see. They are correct here, number three and four, also correct. And then number one and two, great. This means that today we have completed our lesson one. This is great because we have two more lessons. We have two days this week and four days next week to complete lessons two, three, and the exam. Before we go to section two, do you have any questions? Anything that is not clear? No? So it's that clear. Means, yeah. Good. That means that today everybody yeah. should be complete with section one in the platform. With section one in the platform. Carla B, can you please read what we're going to learn tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Bye. And the for me or for for. Go ahead, Carla. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Es que hay dos Carlas, teacher. Por eso. Teacher, we have two Carlas. ¿Y quién es Carla B? Las dos tienen Carla B. No, sí. Ah, ok, ok. And the other is Carla... Déjame ver, let me see, let me see. Carla Elena, right? Yes, ok. So, in this one, Carla B, and then in the next one, we have another one. Go ahead, Carla B. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, next one, I'll By the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. This is the topic for tomorrow. So tomorrow, remember, you should be complete with section one. And tomorrow we begin section two, which is the grammar past continuous and simple past. Tomorrow we're going to focus in the past events. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.